The future of AI is going to be insane, and let me tell you why. Imagine big companies taking all your information you ever had on Facebook, all the stories, all the events, memories, everything you ever created on Facebook, and say, you know, downloaded it, which had all of your voting history, your saved items, things that you bought and sold, things you messaged or liked, places you've gone, all your messages with people, pages that you own, uh, you know, the games that you played on Facebook, those little questionnaires that you filled out. Um, and then uploaded it, say, to a Google Drive and uploaded it to you, uh, to ChatGPT. I mean, ChatGPT already has memories. And if we look at their memories, you can see quite a bit of memories here uh, just on what it uh, saved. And say you took all that data and you uploaded it to ChatGPT, it would essentially be a clone of yourself, which is pretty insane. So think of if now you took that clone and created a VR world. Now you are able to have a VR clone of yourself interact in a VR world. I mean, they could essentially create a Ready Player One with all of, say, the Facebook data, Instagram data, TikTok data, and pushed it to a one metaverse world where you recreate the world uh, with avatars, essentially. I mean, you already have given the world kind of your avatar, in a sense, with your data on social media. Uh, obviously, it's kind of the... Um, I don't know, the highlights, but with your phones, through your messages, uh, you know, if you connected all of this information, uh, you know, all the data points, the things you search, combined all that and put it into a VR world, you're just recreating the world that we live in. Um, you know, combine that with, say, um, you know, the Nero link link what is it right here um, being able to have a computer into your mind um, where you're able to essentially learn how to walk again learn how to move a mouse with your with your thoughts and so if you're able to move things with your thoughts uh, with a uh, a device what's to say you couldn't implant memories down the road uh, with AI uh, where then it would take your memories um, and store them online. Um, that'd be like the next step, essentially, of um, instead of AI using hardware. And then what's to say that you couldn't learn how to do Kung Fu, like the Matrix, uh, like Matrix uh, upload. I mean, that's essentially what this is, right? <laughs> like a Neuralink, uh, the Matrix, learning kung fu learning any type of skill and if they discover in the brain how to add a chip that could essentially uh, be an extension of your memories or skill sets and ai that could remap your brain to incorporate those experiences then there's no reason why you couldn't uh, essentially uh, become the matrix essentially or neo i mean then you're kind of just getting into the like the realm of all knowing, all kind of seeing, and we're essentially gods at that point. I mean, if you think about this, is you now know anything at any given time. Uh, with AI and uh, generative AI, we can create worlds instantaneously. We can upload our full uh, memory banks, essentially, to ChatGPT, creating our avatar or our a personality of ourselves inside a G, uh, chat GPT so you can create life essentially and I mean if we just look at what um, what was it uh, meta worlds horizon I mean you can create a world in there with people in it and so what the, what's to say we're not gods already I mean we essentially I mean what what is a requirement to be a god um, a requirement to be a god let's see you need to cr be able to create have creation in the world but i mean isn't that if what's to say that this isn't a creation from someone else uh you know a god but can, what's to say we can't create worlds already i mean we look at meta world we look at the sims the sims 
I mean, isn't this creating little worlds? And then if you added uh, ChatGPT to this, which they've kind of already done, isn't that making us gods? Miracles, I mean, can we heal these, these players with little things to uh, give them food and uh, shelter and be gods in that sense? Guidance, I mean, don't we guide them uh, on certain things? Forgiveness, I mean, yeah, whatever. Don't we do that already as humans? Protection, I mean, don't we already do that as humans? Uh, judgment, don't we already do that as humans? So I feel like we kind of already are gods, and now if we add AI, we're gonna be the ultimate gods. Um, and I think that's where the future of AI is. I think it's going to be where we're able to create a world the industry, the entertainment industry, the music industry, everything is going to go away because we'll have AI devices that can generate the best movie that we would ever want for ourselves and it would read the feedback in our heads with the neural link to show us that we um, are getting the dopamine drip that we want and it's generating the best movie or game or piece of entertainment ever. Um, for us at that very moment and so uh you know we at some point i mean instead of vr they already have the ray-bans uh glasses they're gonna put a layer on top of the world and that's gonna be another layer on top of the world with vr and ar and it's gonna be awesome with ai and i think that's where the future is gonna go so let me know what you guys think am i crazy probably um but i think that i'm not and i think that's in the next five years we're going to see some crazy things with ai vr ar and um we're going to be gods peace